So today we want to talk about the connection between knee arthritis, knee pain, knee inflammation, and mouth bacteria. So first let me touch on the difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, you have an immune system attack on your own joints. You have antibodies. Anti means against the body. Little things that are attacking the joint, keeping the whole joint in an inflamed state, and it starts creating breakdown. So you get this enlargement of the joint. Uh, it happens in the fingers, the wrists, the knees, and other joints, but it's always symmetrical. It's on both sides at the same time. Now the thing about RA is it affects other systems, like the heart. It can cause anemia in the blood. It can affect the eyes, and there's always a lot of inflammation. Whereas osteoarthritis, you have a decrease in joint space, you get spurring, pain, stiffness, you get a bit less inflammation even though there's some. In osteoarthritis, typically you'll see asymmetrical, you will see it on one side, not on both sides, and you see wear and tear. Now I've been in practice for 29 years and I always questioned, why would someone get osteoarthritis if they didn't have an injury to a joint? Why does it happen in one joint and not the other joint if there's no injury or repetitive injury or microtrauma? Sometimes you'll see it in the hip, like it'll just start wearing out. And that was weird to me. And then I also always question rheumatoid arthritis. Why would the body start attacking uh, joints in a symmetrical way for no reason? So I suspected there had to be some type of microbe involved. So I started doing some research and I found this interesting connection between oral bacteria DNA in the synovial fluid of the knee joints, okay? It was also found in the heart as well. So the question is, what the heck is this bacteria that's supposed to be in the mouth doing in your joints, in the knees, and why is it in the heart? And the name of that bacteria is Porphyromonas gingivalis. Not that you really wanted to know that, but that's the name. And also it's the microbe involved in gum disease. Now this made a lot of sense to me because now it gave a reason for your body to attack the joint. It's not attacking itself, it's attacking a microbe within the joint. That makes way more sense. It's trying to kill something off and it's like trying to shoot it with certain elements and it happens to also destroy your joint in the process. Also, if there's an infection or a subclinical infection in the joint, that could definitely affect the cartilage production, you can create a buildup of calcium called biofilm that's around the joint and various other symptoms. So the next question I would ask is, how do I know if there's a microbe that's causing either one of these problems in one of my joints? I think one simple way and one inexpensive way would be to assume that that's causing it and start using a natural antibiotic, which by the way, doesn't have any side effects. And if you start getting improvement, then it's likely that that was the culprit, okay? So here are a couple natural herbal antibiotics that I would recommend. Golden seal, tea tree oil, myrrh, garlic, olive leaf extract, and this works on viruses too. Uh, there's also other studies that show there are uh, smaller microbes involved as well, like mycoplasma and um, nanobacteria with, and even viral-like particles that are inside the joint. So if you were to use several different combinations of these, and there's others as well, uh, I think you'd create a really good synergistic effect. All right, so go ahead and try this for a couple weeks. Then let me know down below if it helped you. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app. Okay, and it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions, okay? So you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.